As the number of people vaccinated against COVID-19 continues to rise, doctors have thrown their support behind a new proof of jab certificate. For more on this, we're now joined by political reporter James Glenday in Canberra. Good afternoon to you, James. Just what would such a certificate look like? So it's going to look a little bit like a digital driver's licence, which is becoming increasingly popular. And this is not a particularly high tech way of showing you, Kirsten, but uh, it uh, will be on your phone. You'll be able to download it from uh, the MyGov app and then you'll be able to carry it around and you'll be able to show it to people when you need to. And uh, Hank Yongen from uh, Services Australia says people who don't have a computer or a phone will be able to request a hard copy. But uh, he did say earlier today that uh, the easiest way to get the certificate will be via your phone and uh, the uh, MyGov app. Here's a little of what he had to say. The certificate is available through MyGov, but the key is to ensure that your Medicare account is linked to MyGov. Once you've done that, we highly recommend you download the smartphone app because once you've received both vaccinations, that's where your certificate will appear. James, this begs the question, when will Australians need to use this certificate? Yeah, it's a good question. And the answer is we don't know and uh, because it's a controversial question and uh, it's one that's going to have to be decided and nutted out between state, territory and uh, federal leaders. Uh, the Prime Minister has indicated that uh, it's likely to be necessary. He suggested it's likely to be necessary for international travel. He suggested that it might give people who are in areas where there are lockdowns because of coronavirus outbreaks, it might give them extra rights to either not obey all of the restrictions or maybe even travel freely across state borders but uh, we should caution that we're a fairly long way away from that because uh, uh, there's still a lot of conjecture and uh, still a little bit un uh, of a un few unknowns about how much protection the uh, COVID-19 vaccine will give against transmissibility of the virus and uh, in any case many 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 millions more Australians will need to be vaccinated before this is something that is going to be considered but Services Australia says they're getting on the front foot getting this in place now and indeed it's something that's happened in other countries the European Union, for example, is uh, has a very, very similar system. Now, James, while we've got you on a related issue, the COVID-19 vaccination advice for pregnant women has changed. What is it now? Yeah, so this is a, a pretty big development. There's been some uh, a bit of a, a grey area about uh, whether or not pregnant women should be getting vaccinated and when they should be getting uh, vaccinated. And that's partly because there's not very much virus in Australia. And so uh, the advice uh, until now had been get vaccinated if you're pregnant and you're at particular risk. You might have some other underlying health condition from COVID-19. Uh, and now the advice is you should get vaccinated with uh, the Pfizer vaccine at any stage of pregnancy. That's a decision that's come out from health officials today. Okay, James Glenday in Canberra, thank you.